in this video i will be teaching you how to make this right here this is soy milk it's very nice it's very tasty it is unique it is special and it is healthy so in this video i'll be teaching you how to make a very nice and tasty soy milk very special more than what you find and buy out there so that's what i'll be teaching you in this video but first you guys before i get started if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do me a favor click on that subscribe button it is free to do that also turn on your post notification bell so that anytime i post new videos on this channel you'll be the first person to get notified as you watch this video as it progresses if you find this interesting please do me a favor and click on that like button give this video a thumbs up okay let me give you time to do that Right, welcome back and thanks for subscribing thanks for liking thank you for everything thank you i know before the end of this video you're still going to share this thank you in advance <laughs> okay for my soy milk i am going to use my dates so the first thing i'm going to do is to prepare my soy milk and my dates my soya beans and my dates right for this particular recipe i'm not using sugar i'll be using dates so i'll go ahead and wash my dates twice to make sure that it is very very clean very very clean now dates is very good you can use this in place of sugar right except maybe you're making a very large quantity and you're trying to save cost then you can use sugar but um i think this this is healthier yeah this is healthier so this actually makes your soya milk very very rich So I will just go ahead and cut this in bits because I will be blending this. Okay, so I'm going to just cut it and take out the seed. Please, if you haven't subscribed, do me a favor and do that. Click on that subscribe button. Make sure to like this video. It costs nothing to do that. It's just going to help my channel. YouTube is going to recommend this video to more people more people will tend to learn how to make this drink and many other amazing videos that i'll be posting on this channel now after cutting my dates i'll go ahead and add clean water to it clean drinking water to my dates i will soak this overnight i actually did this by 10 p.m um the first day and then i'm going to continue the next day in the morning okay so this is my dates i'll just set this aside next i'll get my soil beans um this here i have i'm also going to post a video where i made a large quantity soya milk so you want to turn on your notification bell so that you'll get notified when I, I post that particular video in that video i'm going to tell you how many cups of soya milk of uh, soya beans gave me how many uh, bottles of soya milk and how much you can make from soya beans or soya milk why on earth are these two things confusing me <laughs> soya beans and soya milk anyways you know what i'm trying to say right okay so this soya beans i have already selected all of these things right when you buy them you'll find stones so you want to make sure that you select everything the same way you select your beans and this is very fine very clean So for this, I will measure out just one cup of soya beans. Yes, I will be using just one cup and then I will add jarra to it. <laughs> so this is just one cup and my jarra. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add 
clean water to this clean cooking water to this i'm going to soak this overnight remember i said i was doing all of these things by 10 pm at night so i'm going to soak this and then you can see that it's very strong i'm supposed to like be able to wash off the pills but as it is right now it's still very strong just like beans but this one is stronger than beans it's still very strong so i can't wash it right so i'm going to soak it overnight this is the next morning and um look at my dates right here see the color so this water now the water that um, is on my dates right now is very very sweet like so i'm going to set my dates aside it is sweet and soft right now so i can easily work with it so my soya beans is soft but not that soft it's something that if i want to wash right the peels can actually come out of it but i'm still going to cook this two reasons why i'm going to cook this two reasons number one i'm going to cook it because um soya beans or that soya milk it gets bad easily right it doesn't the shelf life is not that long it's something that goes bad very very fast so cooking it is going to help preserve it because we're not adding any form of preservative so we are going to cook it so that it will not get spoiled on time that's the first one and then secondly i'm going to cook this until it becomes very very soft because of the blender i'll be using right you get to see that very soon so i need this to be soft i need it to be so so that i can easily blend without having to stress my blender too much but whether you're using a big blender or a small blender you still need to cook it if you want it to last for at least three days right you need to cook it so i just transfer this into my pots my small pan The pan I'm using tends to be very, very small. So I'm going to transfer it into a bigger pot. Then I'll take it on fire again, add more water to it and have it cook for some time. Now, because I already soaked this overnight, it is not strong. So it won't take me too long to cook. Okay. So here's my soya beans. It is now soft. I can easily wash it and also it's very soft my blender can tolerate it as well so now i'm going to just strain out the water add cold water to it so that i can easily wash this because i don't want it to burn my hands okay so i'll just strain it and add water to it and wash it the same way you wash beans when you want to make moi moi or akara that's what i'm going to do i'm going to wash this and remove all the pears very very important So I'll just go ahead to wash this right now remove the peel i'm not going to do that like well on the camera okay i'm going to just do it off the camera because i need to use my two hands i need to use my both hands to wash it very well so I'm, and my space is very small so i'm going to do it off the camera and then come back to show you my clean soybeans okay so please 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 if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do that for me and also like this video share it with everybody your friends your enemies everybody you may be helping somebody okay christmas is coming you need drinks healthy drinks for your family you can also make this for business and yes please like this video and share as well So right here i have 
a very clean soya beans i washed it and i i took off the water the peels and everything so it's looking very fine very very fine right here the next thing i'm going to do is to start blending you want to be very careful pay attention look at what i am going to do right very, very this step is very important if you don't want to um, end up adding too much water to your soya beans and then have a very watery and tasteless soya milk you want to pay attention to this step and follow it up the way i am going to do it okay so now i'm going to get my dates ready i'll be using this blender this is my smoothie maker like it's very small so this is what i'm going to use i'm also going to use um sachet water so um that is drinking water so any water you drink feel free to use it then i'm going to get a bowl and then i will get a cheese clothes you can buy this in the market if you want me to make a video on how much you can actually buy all of these things right do let me know in the comment section i will do a separate video where i'm going to explain everything in details and how much you can spend to buy these things so now i am going to just set that bowl and the cheese cloth aside also get my date get my um, blending cup and then i will start adding in my soya beans gradually okay you want to pay attention to this step because it is very very important
so after blending i'm going to um, extract the milk from this that is the very first step i'm going to just quickly extract the milk you can see the milk is very nice and so i'm going to extract this this is going to take some time i will squeeze it out and i will use just make sure that your hands is um just make sure that your hand is very clean okay make sure that your hand is very clean hygiene is important and also keep your working environment clean so i'm going to squeeze out this water because this water this is actually milk not water right um this milk is what i will use to blend again so that i will end up adding too much water to my soya milk now it all depends on the taste of what you want now i'm going to blend again i'll just transfer this water into my measuring cup and then i will use this water remember the shaft i got from the um soya beans you know i squeezed out this milk and i have the shaft here so this shaft now i'm going to blend it again until it is very very smooth so i'm just going to put them what i did actually was i added some of the shaft in here in my blending cup and then i added some of the milk to it and then i will blend okay so instead of adding extra water i use the milk to blend again at this point if the milk like if you run out of the milk and you still have the shelf you can get extra water okay so feel free to add extra water to it so that was basically or rather that is basically what i am doing right now get the shelf add the milk to it and blend again until we're going to get a very smooth milk the essence of this is the point is i don't want any milk left in this right i want to get all the like i want to suck out all the milk in this air base <laughs> I want to suck out all the milk in this soya base. So the step is very, very simple. Okay. I hope you you're learning something. Mm. If you just said yes, or if you know that you nodded your head, then make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead. okay after blending everything i transferred it into my sieve and i'm going to use my spoon to sieve this okay i'm going to sieve twice now i will show you the secret to this if you want a thicker soya milk then you want to like use this kind of sieve not something like a cheese cloth because a cheese cloth is going to give you something a little bit watery but you're going to get the milk right but it won't be thick but if you use something like this you're going to get a thick soya milk in the next video i'll be posting where i had to do a larger quantity i'm going to show you the difference Just look at it right here this one is thick right this is not what i want this is actually nice but i think i want something lighter i want something that i can easily eat whatever i want to eat with it for this particular it's not like i don't like thick soya beans or soya milk i like it i love it but for now for this particular recipe i want something i can easily sip okay so now i am going to get another cheese cloth i have like more than one of this so i'm going to get another cheese cloth. this one is clean seriously i was lazy while doing this so i couldn't go wash the other one and use it again okay so i had to use another one <laughs> The whole washing process is going to be after the video. Okay, so this is another one. I'm going to now sieve this again. Now, while sieving, I got a lot of those things that actually made the soya milk thick. I sieved them out, right? They they couldn't pass through these cheese clothes. So basically, I gave this soya milk to someone, and she was like, "Ah, oh, well, you ended up removing the things that are supposed to make me fat." <laughs> So the things that are supposed to make you fat, I've removed some of them. 
so this one is a very light milky soya milk Now this is me after um, sieving the whole thing. I had to fast forward this thing because I don't want it to be too long like that. So after sieving everything, this is what I have. It's very clear. It's something you can easily sip. So let's start um, flavoring this. So to have this very tasty soya milk, I'm going to add milk powder to this. Do not tell me that this is going to spoil because there is milk in it. No. <laughs> It won't go bad so fast okay and then i'm going to add um milk flavor to this as well because i want to perceive the milk while i take it so i'm going to add milk flavor as well i added milk i'll leave the measurement on the screen okay i added milk i added milk flavor and then i am also adding my condensed milk there is no sugar in this recipe so that's that i'm just going to go ahead and package this right now so i got three bottles one 35 um, 235 cl and 125 cl this is very sweet it's very tasty this is not the regular kind of soya milk you see out there that i did sell 100 naira no 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 i'm going to tell you guys if you want to know let me know i'm going to tell you how much you can sell one of these like the minimum amount you can sell one of these okay um thank you so much for watching this video thanks a whole lot for watching even up to this point i really do appreciate you thanks a whole lot i'm going to see you in my next video